whiskey. It's not super light looking or dark, but and then again, that doesn't really mean much a lot of times anyway. Like, it's just a first impression. Just looking at the color of the whiskey, it's very uh, copper, goldish, honey, maybe honey colored, something like that. But uh, yeah, per usual, I am going to take my very first uh, attempt at tasting this scotch. I literally just opened up the bottle. I'll see if I pick up anything notable. After that, I will do a little bit more research. I'll probably do somewhat of a compilation video of my uh, research and just taking some notes to take back to the table to do a proper tasting when I'm a little bit more prepared in terms of what to expect with the scotch. Um, and if you're new to my videos, that's kind of the step-by-step -step process I've been taking recently. I'm still very much, you know, a beginner whiskey enthusiast. I, it's difficult for me to pinpoint a lot of different flavors right now. I think I'm getting a little bit better. I have some variety at this point, but it does make the experience a little bit better for me when I come into it. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, there might be a little bit of fruity and sweet notes, a little bit of maple, maple and honey, I guess. Very subtle though. Definitely not dominant in, in the palate in here. Uh, I'm going to try again, but I believe the finish 
is actually quite short. easier. Um, I'll see how it goes. I don't know if there were people who really enjoy like the screencast portion of the video and the typing and stuff, but I can always do um, videos focused on that in the future, I think, for the purpose of just making sure I'm getting this content out in a timely manner. I'm going to try this out. I think it'll be a little bit quicker and easier. Uh, and also 
also been doing it this way where I, I've printed out my compilation here and I'll just be doing it in front of the camera without showing my face. This actually allows me to not really worry about showing myself um, and kind of get really into the microphone to, to do uh, kind of what I do in the screencast portion where I'm doing like I guess more of the side to side binaural and uh, um, just whispering closer into the microphone. So yeah, I'm going to try this out and I'm going to see how it goes. I always like the way they sound too. I'm not gonna do like a ton of stuff, but I do like to play around with the paper and um, paper protectors, whatever they're called. In general, that's one of my ASMR triggers, I guess. So, I will pour myself. minutes probably, but uh, I'm too late to go back on that. I'm not going to <laughs> pause and come back to this video. I think it's fine. I don't think that this whiskey is particularly uh, complex anyway. I doubt letting it sit will bring that much more. Anyway, but I guess I'll give myself a couple minutes break to just go over what I've This is not a dagger, right? It's just a letter opener in case anyone was wondering. So I printed out the flavor spiral from Flavier. And I also printed out the tasting notes straight from Flavier as well. And then on the back here, I've just put down the notes that I'm going to be trying to look out for. Things that popped out for me when I was reading either descriptions online or um, community reviews, whatever people were giving. These are the notes that really popped out for me that I'm going to be looking for, right? So I'll flip that back over in a second and just to quickly go over what Flavier has provided. The appearance, I mean the color is going to be warm gold. I definitely is sharp with notes of shortbread, tart apple, demerara, I don't know what that is, and dried lilacs. The flavor or the palate is remarkably complex at this price point with notes of shortbread, creamed malt, a hint of toffee, and a dash of smoke. A lot of people did say smoke, but a lot of people did not like this type of smoke. Um, it's not smoking in a good way, apparently. And the finish is medium length and dry with toasted malt and a light sweet spice. More or less in line with what the community reviews say as well, where nose, it's chemical, um, vanilla, I believe I said that when I did the initial tasting, apple, fruity in general, syrupy and oily. Is mineral, sour, dry, somewhat smoky, but not in a good way. Malt, grain, fruity again, oak, caramel, charcoal, charcoal, leather, sweet, and medicinal. And then the finish will have a lingering note of ginger, perhaps. It'll be smooth. 
smooth. Some tea notes, interestingly enough, and tart apple, like Flavier said. And then a few other takeaways I got from reading the community reviews is that it's just overall not a very complex experience. More reviews were in favor of having this in a cocktail versus enjoying it neat. And in general, the ratings were below average. Um, more people did not like this compared to those who did. Um, from what I found, at least. There were people who did like it, and they had great reviews for it. For the price point, they really liked it, at least. Um, but yeah, just to quickly go over the flavor spiral here as well. Looks like smoky and caramel will be the two biggest flavors here. Spicy, oak, and malty will be also quite significant. Sweet notes, vanilla notes, honey notes, and grain will be in the overlay, pretty much. So, that being said, let's get into the real tasting. I mean, yeah, when I look out for it, I'd say the nose does have that uh, the uh, medicinal, it's a very sharp nose, I guess. There's a chemical flavor to it, or scent to it, right? I wrote it here. The chemical. I definitely notice it. I will say I pick up the apple and definitely like berries and fall fruits in general. Um, there's definitely some sweetness to it as well on the nose. And you can definitely get the floral, like dried lilacs, vanilla, maybe lavender or something, I don't know. Definitely like lightly floral on here, but there is definitely a chemical scent to this. Um, and I should look up real quick what Demerara is. Fun fact of the day for me and anyone else that did not know what that was. I'm not so sure about the shortbread. Vanilla, apple, fruity, syrupy, I don't know about that on the nose or oily. I'm going to agree with the sweet and floral notes though on here, definitely apple. Fruits, apple, and berry, primarily, and an overlay of floral, and I'll just say uh, vanilla and lilac come to mind, or basically were suggested. There's much else to that, to the nose. It's actually been, I think like two weeks maybe, since I shot the initial tasting, so I can't even remember what I said for it, if I thought this was complex or not. I do think that there is 
quite a bit going on when I taste this, and I do believe that the finish is medium to uh, medium long. Uh, it's a pretty long tasting experience, I'd say. Still don't pick up short. necessarily malty to me either. Let me try again for the spiciness and the oak. Yeah, it definitely starts off with a bit of a kick, like a black pepper spice kick. Mellows out a bit. And I'll say I do pick up some, some woody notes to this as well. Kind of fruity, but that's really more in the back end. It definitely smells more fruity than it tastes. And there's an overlay of smoke. It's not super smoky. Yeah. So yeah, definitely spice. And I'd say that the smoke and the wood are more overlaying features in the palette for me. And it's very slight. Sweet. It's not even overlay, it's just kind of sweet, but not that much. What did I look for here? Mineral. And I think the nose was a little bit more chemical than the palate tasting minerally or medicinal. I didn't really get sour either. sweet but not really. Leather? Let me see. Yeah, I'd say. Might be closer to the, the end though, or into the finish that I'm getting leather. But let me start writing that down. So it starts off with a spicy kick, black pepper, mellows out, and goes into more uh, wood and smoky flavors. really know what the main flavor is on this one. I'd say like the spice is pretty much the dominant flavor at the beginning and after that it kind of just disperses out into different flavors maybe. Nothing really taking any precedence over the others. Um, very subtle sweet notes and I'm going to say that the leather flavor starts to come in towards the end of the palette and carries into the finish so I'm going to start off with the finish part just saying leather I might actually say that the finish kind of picks up again. There's a bit of a spicy kick at the end for me. I didn't really get ginger or tea. Those things didn't really stick out to me. It might be a little bit of an apple vibe going on here. I think I say that the finish is medium long and it, it ends with a spicy kick. It definitely ends with a bit of a bang there. Um, medium long, spicy kick returns to uh, conclude. Nothing 
house really took over. I'd say that the spice is kind of in and out in this one, and then everything else is a bit of an overlay. It's very subtle. There's definitely a variety of things going on, but nothing really uh, sticks out. say that the sweetness kind of starts disappearing once you get into the finish. Maybe there's tart apple, but I'm not going to write that down. I, I just don't even know how to identify that. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's the most complex experience ever. Um, I think there's a nice diversity, so it's not terrible. It's, it definitely doesn't deserve the has been getting on the majority of the community reviews, but I probably would not pick up another bottle. I think, um, I'm actually not sure how much uh, it costs at retail, but if I were to get a blended, um, it would probably be like a monkey shoulder, which is pretty affordable, or something else. Probably not this one. out. Still florally, maybe it's all floral and sweet. I think, I think that the, the lilacs and the vanilla comes out a lot more on this. It, it smells a little bit creamier, if that makes sense. Um, more oily, and actually, that was something to look out for, right? Syrup and oil. So I think that those come out a little. say the kick definitely remains the same on the palate. It still starts off pretty pretty heavy with the spice. The palate doesn't seem to change much for me, I think, uh, because without the water it was pretty mellow after the kick. Usually water mellows things out for me, generally, so... It's a lot 
less smoky and I'd say the oak and the wood notes are a little bit more noticeable with this. I think that, um, yeah, smokiness, ash, charcoal, those kind of go away a bit more with the water, but the wood notes stay. So I guess I'll just say that. Splash of water makes the oak and wood notes a little so much time and so many whiskeys to review that eventually I'll find the whiskey that hits that mark. So I have one last type, one last portion of this to go through. Yeah, so basically I have been leaving this in my fridge for about half an hour. It's been chilled. It's been chilling in my fridge, literally. And I'm going to see if it has any noticeable differences. I'm kind of trying to make this a thing as well. We'll see how that goes too. And my first reaction is that the nose is incredibly weak. I don't, it might be because it's my third around at once, but um, I, I barely got anything on that nose. Let me try that again. Definitely not sharp anymore. Kind of sweet. Um, I still got the floral too. I'm not going to say that the chilled glass all of a sudden makes this more sweet compared to floral versus how the water made it more floral compared to sweet. I'm not gonna make that argument right now. But I'm just gonna say that the chilled glass definitely uh, weakens the nose portion for now. We'll see if it does the same for the palate. Okay, my first reaction it is I don't like it it brings out the sweet notes a lot more I definitely get apple on it uh, and I don't like the way it worked at all it's uh, yeah very surprising actually it 
tastes way sweeter and I hate the fact that it tastes sweeter and the sweetness has taken over from everything else I feel like it did away completely with the smokiness yeah I don't know maybe this just uh, this is not a whiskey that's meant to be chilled I might just have one more sip and call that I'm going to conclude there. I'm going to wait for this one to uh, get back to room temperature and finish it off. And yeah, that is my tasting review of the famous Chris whiskey. See you in that video. Um, have a good night.